Hey everybody, thanks for joining me here. I'm going to talk about the Baofeng UV17 Pro GPS uh, programming software. Two versions. Uh, one of them is the uh, software that you can download from the MyClore website, and we'll go over that one first. Uh, this is built by Terry Kennedy. It's the modified version, is what they call it. And um, so we're also going to go over Chirp, and Chirp works with this radio now. It has its own um, selection now underneath the uh, radio selection, and it actually does uh, accept the airband uh, within that you know program now, and it works, so that's good. But there's some kind of confusing things I'm going to talk to you guys about, especially with the banks. Um, on the modified version here you can see down at the bottom it has zones here um, in the radio they call them banks and once you click on banks then it goes into a zone or area or whatever you want to call it but they they call it uh, a bank and then a zone so here um, let me show you on the radio here on the little screen you click on the menu it has it says bank click on banks uh, and then it goes into uh, this and I've renamed these zones here and I'll show you how to do that to what I wanted them to be but then this underneath these banks this bank menu these would be called zones it says bank at the top and then zone uh, would be what I named as local wide that would have been uh, zone one and I'll show you that here so zone one down at the bottom here is channels one through 100. Zone two, of course, is also one through 100. So it's not um, 101 through 200. It's also one through 100. So that's confusing, number one. Um, and you get zone three, same thing. So you get in each zone, you get a hundred channels, which is great that you can't say, I want to like the Wotions, I want to program my banks to hold 200 or 300 or even five or 10 or whatever you want to set the values at. You're stuck with a hundred here. Um, but uh, also when you're scanning in the radio, you'll notice under each bank, it's going to go to, instead of say you're in bank three, instead of uh, um, 300 and say I had one here 350 it's going to say 50 instead of 350 but it's bank three so um, which when we get into chirp that'll be more pertinent because it's confusing if you're going to use chirp you got to know this so um, you have up to z 10 zones and you can rename each of the zones and um, which is cool. So let's kind of show you what I got on the radio. And this says read the radio and chirp. I said, I think it says download from radio. So here's, uh, I'm in zone one. You can see down here. And this is what I have in zone one. And it's one through 23. I have all these frequencies channels, excuse me, unused. Zone two, I have 12 channels used, all of these unused. If I want this to be my air band, uh, it's kind of difficult and confusing if I want to put other frequencies beside the air band in here. So it would be nice to be able to just change this value, say I only wanted 20 or 25 within zone two, like the Walsh and software, you can do that. Um, zone three, I have 30 in here. And so I have 70 channels unused. This is where I'm using GMRS and it's fine. It is what it is. It just would be nice to have a little bit more flexibility. So let's go over to uh, Chirp and look at this. We're going to download from radio and you can see here model uh, selection it does have this 7 UV 17 Pro GPS and I didn't have any problem cloning uh, 
with either software with this radio. So here you go. Um, this is what I have in the radio. Remember, I had 23 channels in bank one. There's no indication of what bank is what here. So you have to know this when you're coming into chirp that you have one through 100 in bank one. Now, if you want to separate these out, you have to start at 101 and put in whatever you want here. And you, you can see I've put um, my air band frequencies to 112. And then again, nothing clear up to 200. I can't just put it in there and separate them out. So 201 to 230, I believe, yeah, is uh, bank three. And you can go in to settings here and click on bank names. Bank name has local wide, that's what I named it, but you can see down here at bank five, the stock configuration is gonna say zone five. So, so zone one's through 10, it's gonna show here. Then you can rename them, but there's no indication of how many channels or what channels are where bank one could mean anything you you know you have to figure out that that is one th or zero or excuse me one through 100 and bank two is 200 201 no excuse me 101 to 200 and so on so um that's the the little quirks with the software but it does accept the the um air band here and you can just type it in here like any other frequency and um, just click uh, AM here. But actually, you know what? I'm, I'm not sure about that because I just noticed that. Uh, when I programmed the air band in, let's try that. Okay, let's try one, one. We'll just double this. We may learn here something together. Okay, it automatically chose AM. I don't know. Let's try it again. One, three, two. Uh, point five thousand. Yep, it automatically chose AM, but you don't have the AM option here. Interesting. Okay, well, there I learned something new right there myself. So uh, you cannot change that within there but you when you come down here there's no am option it's narrow fm or fm interesting it must just recognize that it's am frequency <laughs> all right well we're always learning here so um there's that you guys i thought maybe you'd have to go into uh the other software the uh modified software um so that's that, you guys. Uh, yeah, that's about all I got. You, you just got to experiment with this. But uh, as far as programming programming with the banks, you're you're at a, every hundred channels is a bank, and you can go in here and change your your bank names, your zones, um, to whatever you want it to be. So uh, I don't know. I I kind of go back and forth between both of them. The um, modified software over here seems to be a little bit more intuitive to me because you have the zones labeled down here and it only gives you 1 through 100 but it sure would be nice to have um, zone 2 say <laughs> channels 2 uh, 101 to 200 so that's confusing and then like I said when you're scanning um, within the radio, it's going to show whatever channel, you know, you could have, uh, every zone is going to have a number one, right? So you could be scanning one through 10 on every zone or every bank. Um, you're never going to get to that 200 or 300 or 400. You're not going to go know where it is, which is fine. You're in the banks, I guess, but, um, it's confusing within chirp. So. All right, guys, that's all I got. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate you and uh, have a good one. We'll catch you later.